I'm going to show you how to get your project ready for Move It. There are three sections to this video. First is where you put the plugin and why you put it there. Second is how to extend it in C++ if you wish to do so. And finally, how to update it when a new version comes out. Okay, so chapter one, where to put the plugin and why. So first I have made my project, it's just called Project Setup. Um, I've made a C++ project, you do not have to. Plugin can either be left in the engine directory or it can be placed in the project folder. It is best to place it in the project folder because when you update the plugin, it could break every project as publishers can't update your existing animation blueprints for you. This could include projects you have temporarily suspended and don't have to keep maintaining. So to do this, we navigate to wherever you've installed the engine. Come into that engine folder, plugins, marketplace. We take move it and go copy. Then we come to our own project and we just go new folder and call it plugins if it doesn't already exist and we paste move it in here. Now it's already been compiled, so it doesn't matter if you have a Blueprint project. So extending Movit is very easy. In your U project, you need to add Movit as a plugin. You will want to do this regardless. So if I just open up, then I can enable it inside the editor instead of having to do it here. So if you open, go edit, plugins, you'll get this window, go animation, move it, and just enable it. So now if you click this tab, you should have a move it content folder. Now if you decided to leave it in the engine folder, and you, or if you don't see it at all, go to view options and make sure show plugin content is enabled. If you left it in the engine folder you will also need to go show engine content so one of the benefits of putting it in the project is when you go to the move it content folder you don't need to sort through all that so now that we've enabled move it we can close this down and you see it comes up in our u project all you need to do from here is come into your your project name go to the build cs going to put it in private, move it, and now if I build that, as you see it succeeded, and that means that we can now extend move it classes, so if I come, you won't have the um, plugins folder here, to get that you'll have to delete your solution, your binaries and your intermediate, and then generate the project files again. And once you do that, it will show up and you can extend those classes. So the final section is how to update Move It. If you have followed this tutorial so far, you will very likely have put Move It in a project folder. When you open the Epic Games Launcher, you can update it like any other plugin. And once you do that, back in the engine folder under the same place that we went before to get move it originally you will have your updated version and in your project you will have the previous version so if you open up the move it wiki you can come to the change log and if there's anything that you need to do to manually get your animation blueprint up to date for the new release there will be a YouTube video showing you how to do that. So this, and you need to make sure you do these in order. So say, if you hadn't touched anything since this update, you need to do this video, then this one, and then that one. But going forward, there should be minimal changes to the animation blueprints. There may be animations that need retargeting that have been updated and the videos will contain all this information. And once you've copied that over, you will have the updated source code, and once you've 
watch the video, then your animation instance should also be up to date. And those are the two main things that change when Move It updates.